Welcome back to the next episode of Scarf Again, the Atlas. Um, I've moved over one quadrant and I'm now in L5. That's a uh, lovely statue behind me. This is actually a free port. Which is a wonderful thing. No, uh -oh, don't you dare follow me. Don't know that, that was the follow button. We'll find out. Anyway, we're here at uh, L5. Uh, it's a free port, which is wonderful. But we've already moved into. Oh, pull it back over. Um, it sort of says there down the bottom. It's a northeast temperate free port. So we're actually in the temperate zone now. You're not following? Good. Yes, and I want to be in the temperate zone, which is fantastic. My food's in all kinds of trouble because um, while sailing, you're not exercising, which means you don't get hungry, which means you don't get the opportunity to eat food. You can just jump like I am, but that's a pain. So I've increased my food consumption, so I'm hoping that will help. The main thing I wanted to get to a free port too, though, and the reason why I'm moving so slow, I want to hire some people. I should have two of the 5,000 gold that I've got. Oh, he's pushy. Why is that not recruiting? There we go. Oh, we're going to get five. Let's have a look at our names. Old Bob Jr. Pretty Bob Jr. Calico Charlotte Black. Calico Alex Nine Toes. And Old John Jr. Such wonderful names. Alright. <laughs> oh my goodness. I guess what you get for uh, randomizing. <laughs> my goodness. Your head is too big. <laughs> uh, oh, funny. Alright. It's like you got a child with um, a head that's twice the size that it should be. Alright, so we've got a few people. Hopefully these guys are going to be able to fit on the ship. We'll find out. Do these guys have food stat as well? Oh, they do. Hmm. I'll have to keep that in mind. Um, sorry. I wonder if these guys eat from a trough. That'd be rather amusing too. Okay, back we go. Oh, got it. First time that time. Oh, you went to the side. Is that how you use it? Right. So if I jump on to this, uh, how can you read that? Okay. A and D to steer port or starboard respectively. Yeah, that's normal. X to drop anchor. W to go forward. Yes, that makes sense. Uh, while sails are manned, pressing W will open sails. S will close. Okay, that's good. Right, shift A, shift D will steer the sails port or starboard. Okay, that's what I need to do. Fantastic. Nice, okay. It's not too unintuitive in terms of controls <laughs> Eat land Eat the land Probably not Actually, where are we? Uh, we are on the northern side. Whoa. That looks pretty crazy in terms of a formation. What are... What is it doing? Okay. We're, we're definitely heading this way. 
I'm really hoping there's some giant statue in the middle of this. <laughs> we can just make it look awesome. I'll bring the boat around later. Shisandra, okay, that stuff from before, what's that? Sunstone? Really? What's a sunstone? Uh, it's a gem resource, okay. Crazy. Still, let's get around to the front of this and see if there's anything the devs put in. Whoa. It's only level 40. Level 40 Tiger. Whether it likes it or not. 10 seconds. Come on, we're going to do four team, four, sorry, four bites. 40 seconds. It's going to take longer than its available time. Back on the bear. I wonder if I can get some prime meat. No. Still got some bowlers. So we're good. Tiger. 30 seconds, don't come here. There's snakes over there too, looks like cobras. 15 seconds. Come on, you can do it. Bam. You are mine. We're going to get a better one of you later.
Wait, we're up high. <gasps> no way. Oh. Damn. That's a lake. Seen some good stuff still in other places. I think some of the swampy regions look really freaking fantastic too. Okay, so this is kind of a summit. Don't want to build up high. I need to build down near the water. The fact that this is up here is just yeah, it's, it's good. We've got fresh water. We've got cows. We have carnivores. We've got herbivores. And it looks like several different types of plants. We're very close to the tropical zone. Ooh, another one. What are you? Oh, it's only level four. This bear's hurting. It's a freaking high level too. on this side of the island. Still pretty incredible. Imagine if you came up from the south to look at this island and all you saw were the craggy rocks on the south side. When in actual fact from the northern side it's stupidly good looking. Well, I think this is going to do with the episode, uh, as can be seen in the background. This island has some fantastic features. I managed to get a, a really crazy opportunistic team, um, picked myself up a tiger. Uh, along the way I was on one of those other islands and there was an opportunistic team for a level 4 lion. Um, but this place, loving the look of it. What's really strange is like behind that elephant statue there's fresh water um, so I know I'm not going to suffer for fresh water and that's really really good but as I've been learning I'd, I would like to build my base closer to where I'm going to build boats right, you want it close to the port um, not exactly sure how I'm going to tackle this island it has the resources like it has water it has several different types of wood 
uh, thatch and fibers. It appears to have quite a good different um, array of creatures. There are tigers, there's snakes. Um, haven't seen lions yet, we'll wait and see. But from the herbivores, there's bears, there's cows, um, and sheep. So lots of different types of creatures. There appears to be lots of different types of uh, other resources. So I found silver and sulfur. And we're only one map square away from our original thing that we were doing where there was crystal um, and that island we were on before had I think three different types of rocks on it. So this is a pretty good spot in, um, for getting lots of different resources. And as we, oh, I don't have them on me because I'll put them on my boot. But um, some of the blueprints require multiple different types of materials. So to find a spot where in short area you can pick up a lot of different things, that's a, a really good thing. It really is. So I'm going to build my base here. I think this might end up being probably a little bit more of a significant base. Uh, temperature wise, I've already gotten cold several times. If I go up a little bit higher, uh, it gets very cold. And right now it is 19 degrees temperate. Okay. But yes, I've been right up to some of the pinnacles and um, it got quite cool up there, especially once you jump in the water. So yeah, I'm hoping that overnight it gets very, very cold and then I might be able to breed my bears. And that would be fantastic. But yes, I don't know where. I want to set up my base. There's so many nice places here. There's different coves as that goes around the beaches and things. There's the elephant itself, which has a little, nice little platform in front of it. Behind the elephant, there's waterfalls and ponds. And yet right here is really nice. It's got this cove where you could build a shipyard. And there's a lion or a tiger over there. And I want to go and see if I can tame it. But I don't have enough bolts. That's a problem. Alright. Anyway. Thanks for watching Scarving in the Atlas. Uh, I was about to say Huck. Thanks for watching Scarving in the Atlas. And yeah. Next time I'm going to probably skip the establishment of a base. But I'm going to have to do a bit more exploration of this island. going to have to get some better gear going. And we need to breed some bears. So yeah. We'll see you next time on Skavik in the Atlas. Catch you later.